Today in the program, unique business to breed unusual dogs, development of sled dog sports in Kazakhstan, set up a specialized sports federation, and just love for pets as a lifestyle. dog is man's oldest companion. It's one of the first animals that latched onto the bonfire and stayed with humans for ages. Being a guard and assistant in lots of works and just a loyal friend. A man could develop hundreds of various breeds, from service dogs performing hard and sometimes dangerous work to decorative ones that are becoming a symbol of style and fashion. Development and propagation of pedigree dogs is not an easy task. A breeder has to be not only a vet and biologist, but also a psychologist and trainer for his pets. Probably that's why this profession is not just business, but mainly vocation. In today's program, we've decided to consider representatives of dog breeding sphere what's more. They chose a specialization of one of the most difficult and unusual in Kazakhstan, northern sled dogs. In Kazakhstan, breeders of such a rare breed as Husky appeared only a few years ago. However, today there are a number of acknowledged breeding nurseries, also a special club and even the Federation of Riding Sports of Kazakhstan have been set up. The Federation holds official tournaments of Republican, Oblast and City Scope, prepares the national team to participate in international tournaments. Today their branches operate in Astana, Almaty, Almaty and Pavlodar Oblast. The cost of a pedigree puppy varies greatly depending on its rarity and popularity of the breed, purity of pedigree, exhibition biography of its parents. Even among dozens of popular breeds, the cost varies from 70,000 to one and a half million tenge. The biggest club where you can see representatives of sled breeds is in Almaty, and the head of this club of Siberian Huskies is one of the most recognized expert dog breeders of Kazakhstan. In Kazakhstan, there are so many clubs of different systems. The FCI clubs are considered to be the most serious ones. They are a union of dog breeders of Kazakhstan and its contract partners. If dog breeding organizations doing exhibitions and tournaments on sled dog sports gets mixed, show dogs that are successful in exhibitions may also be successful in sled dog sports. Anyone with either a pedigree or a mongrel dog may come to sled dog sports. We are glad to see everybody who loves their dogs and wants to live an active lifestyle. So many dog breeders have come to their business through passion and love for their four-footed friends. Many of them had a completely different profession and were working in another sphere. So, for example, Yuri Kadnikov is a former programmer and specialist in sales. But his first pet, Gera, turned the life of the future owner of the kennel upside down and made him change not only his job, but his lifestyle. When I bought my first dog, it was more than five years I took my first dog five years ago. There were very few kennels and dog breeders. When I set up a kennel, I wanted people to know more about this breed and could apply to this professional kennel that engages in particularity of this breed so that I could tell them how to treat them well and so on. My private life adjusts particularly to the dog, so I can't go somewhere as I have to feed and treat it and give vitamins. I spend lots of time on this, but to be honest, it is worth it. My life has become more joyful and energetic, and I enjoy it so much as I have such breeding nursery and such wonderful dogs. It is a way to nourish the spirits. Husky 
Every dog breeder has his own specialization that differentiates his individual approach to maintenance and breeding of dogs. Everybody in the dog breeding community knows it and often uses these peculiarities to help each other for general development of the area. I want to say that dog breeders are divided into types too. They may be an expert or a handler or a trainer. If I'm referred to something in dog breeding sphere, probably I'm a fitness instructor. Yes, I have completed workshops having my own quite big experience already. So I can say that it is really possible to independently learn these things in these fields. And of course, you must have vocation to be successful in this business. You can't succeed if you don't have vocation and love for animals. At the present moment in Almaty, there is a big number of kennels and dog breeders as well. What's the difference? Kennels contribute a lot as they do feeding, correct nutrition, vitamins and treatment. Puppies from kennels may cost a lot, but those of dog breeders may have psychological or health disorders as it grows being bred on its own. But of course there are more kennels than dog breeders, so our purpose is to increase the number of professional kennels and develop them properly. It is the main thing. Actually, it is not enough to breed, you need to train it well. For these aims in dog breeding community, there are specialized specialists like trainers whose aim is to correctly evaluate psychological peculiarities of each dog and considering this to teach it at least the basic behavior rules. In Almaty's club, this task is done by Alina Tsiarova, whose life has been closely connected with dogs since her childhood. In training, you have to have vocation as we work with living creatures that have their own feelings, they have their own temper. So we can make a dog do some commands unwillingly, it is all possible, but the dog won't be happy. There are some people who are able to train dogs, making them happy. They can make a dog go to training with pleasure, so that it waits for these trainings and enjoys the process a lot. I think these people have the vocation in this profession. We train puppies through games. We don't make them sit in one place, as it's hard for them. They'd rather run, jump and overcome some obstacles. For instance, to climb various heights, go through tunnels, all these are done through games. Owing to this, we train dogs to behave right. When it turns one year old, we can proceed to serious trainings. Well, it also depends on a trainer and a dog's temper. If the dog has more of a nervous temper, like people, may be choleric, sanguine and melancholic. So, choleric dogs are super active, they can't sit in one place. They catch things easily and remember things quickly. But to be honest, they forget things easily. That is why they require constant training. Sanguinine dogs are calmer and they are best at training. There are also phlegmatic dogs that learn slowly but remember it for long. The main thing in being a trainer depends on your desire. And of course, vocation as every dog requires an individual approach. All dogs are different like people. They have their own temper and manners. Some are impudent. Some are more modest. Some have leadership skills, some have to be treated strictly, some have to be treated affectionately. All I can say is that totally different dogs may get on in one pack, and our purpose is to make each dog happy. There are dogs with problems, a dog may be aggressive, it treats other dogs or people aggressively. There are dogs that are afraid of something, they had a trauma in their childhood. For example, they are afraid of men or shots. So first, we have to work on correction of this behavior. We have to put them in order first, then we begin training. Apart from individual peculiarities, there is a specialized preparation of dogs. So for instance, there are special programs for service dogs to fix...